G'day guys, welcome to another episode of On Point. Have you found yourself in the position where you just don't know which camp cooking accessory is right for you? Well, I can tell you now, a guy like me loves cooking, loves eating, so I've tried quite a few of these camp cooking accessories. And I'm gonna show you my three favorite. Now there's a lot more than this. You've got petrol cookers, you've got trang ears, you've got all sorts of stuff to cook with, even the humble fire. But today it's about ease of cooking and the three that I find fit in this category the best um, and, and the most comparable, I suppose. Now we're gonna cover everything from price, quality, weight, space and functionability of the of the of the three products all three of these products completely different brands going from your kmart um cheap cooker we've got some um peak stuff in here and of course the jet boil so none of this is sponsored none of this is a promotional video this is purely just going to be an outline to help you choose your favorite let's get into it now the first one I want to discuss is the price. Now the price on these three are exceptionally different. Okay, we start from about 29 odd bucks for this one here from your local Kmart. And then you can buy your butane refills from anywhere from like five bucks for a pack of four right up. But we're not going to go into the fuel cost in this video too much. We've then got your jet boil. Now this is the jet boil flash. This is a brand new one for me big jet boil fan but that's this is a new one so we'll have a look at this today and of course we've got your little tiny peak now as you can see with this fella she's been used a fair bit the jet boil is going to come in at for oh, just over 200 and this one here comes in at about 60 to 70 bucks okay so you can see three completely different price points now we're going to talk about the quality. Now, of course, when it comes down to quality, you want longevity of your product. I'm not going to lie. These actually aren't that bad. Look, this thing's been out in the rain. It's been everything. You can see it's tarnished and all that. However, if we're talking about build quality and stuff, the jet boil takes it hands down. No problems at all. And we're going to run into that probably a bit later. Followed by this little peak stove. I can't believe this thing's still working. Um, and then, of course, yeah, we got our Kmart stove there now if you're looking into your hiking and stuff like that weight is going to be a huge issue so now i actually don't know the weight the full setup weights of these so i bought my scales here what i'm going to do is with the big one i'm going to put the big one on with the pot and the accessories in it i'm then going to put the little fella the peak in there with the pot and accessories and then of course the jet boil is the all-in-one system okay which i'm about to run through what they all look like in the space category next so look let's start with the big camp master so we we'll, we have to put him up here so it fits on and then we'll take the those two out there and put that on top there so for that for that package there we're looking at 2.65 kilograms which isn't light let's be honest You'd expect that though on the cheaper end and with a much bulkier item. So we'll put these back in here, okay, and we'll weigh up the peak. 971 grams. So a comp huge, huge difference. And then the jet boil, 655 grams. So whilst it is um, also, it's as, as compact as you like, but it's also going to be the lightest. Now let's talk about space. Now this is when we're going to start taking these stoves apart, okay, and showing you what's in each. So roughly what I carry with each one, I'll carry your, your camp stove here. In here you've got your butane cartridge and then you're going to have to carry another couple, okay. In the pot I carry these little accessories here from Kmart. Now if you guys are looking for some fantastic camp accessories, these are the go, okay. So they sit in there. Um, we don't need the lighter for this one, of course, because this has got piezo ignition, okay, and away you go. But as you can see, the pot, the knives and forks, the stove and the butane, it's a fairly large outfit. Now, with this, it's slightly different, okay, so if you took that, you can see how big it's going to be, of course. With this one here, pot, butane, and the peak, that all folds into that nice pot, really nice and easy. However, you are going to need a lighter with the peak because it does not have piezo ignition. And to me, well, we're gonna cover that in functionability next. Okay, jet boil. I just have this sitting on the side there, which is a spork. But this is how the jet boil works. A lid to keep everything in. 
here we've got our stand for our butane cartridge there's the head of the, the stove we've got our pot holder and of course our butane and on the bottom we've got our cup so when we set all that up this um, this fella here will go straight on top there okay he'll clip in I won't put it all together but he goes on there so he's got a nice stand that straight on top jet ball on top and we're away okay so away she goes but as you can see when you pull all that apart and now to put it all back in again which only takes you you know a, a couple of seconds it, it goes it goes back in really lovely and neat and that's why I think for the space side of things um, the, the jet boil probably takes this one hands down followed by um, you know your small little butane cooker um, and then of course the large one now let's not forget functionability because I think this is the one that really divides a lot of them uh, functionability doesn't just stop at the size or anything like that it's the whole unit as a whole and how you use it now while this is a big and clunky unit it's a very reliable unit and it costs you nothing I mean, like I said 29 bucks very cheap the good thing is no matter what ground you're on this thing is super stable with the click of with pushing that button down there once your butane cartridge is in properly right she's away that quick it's a bloody good unit especially with piezo ignition okay so what we've got next we'll turn this fella back off again all right that's off you can see that it's a functional unit however it is a bit larger okay now with with this one here what i have found the only problem with the peak system that i reckon i'll just show you now we rotate the top like that to give you your pot stand the pot stand is not very wide we don't have a great diameter but as soon as we put the pot on top of that look I mean, it moves around and it's only got the diameter of that now keep in mind sure we can go buy legs for it but we're talking about as you buy it from the shops okay so that's how it goes so functionality this is pretty good however it also does not have a piezo ignition so you do need to have a lighter as well with it jet boil i'm not going to unpack it again but you've seen how functionable this is i mean this is an all-in-one system that you can throw around you can rattle it around nothing's falling out and away you go everything's in there everything's good to go we've got those expander legs on the bottom of the um, butane cartridge and what i like most about this is due to the way that the flame system works there is doesn't matter how windy it is how rainy it is this thing's boiling water it's doing whatever you need to do and it's doing it quick these are very exposed any wind and it slows down sorry if i look a bit paranoid i'm in tick city now of course it sounds like i'm boasting a lot about the jet boil but is that the one that i'd choose well that depends what's right for you only you can make this decision if i was the weekend warrior that i was camping out the back of my four-wheel drive and that's all i was doing there's no way I'm going past this for 29 bucks because I've got the whole room, my four wheel drive to slide it in my rear sliding drawers. I can put it behind the passenger seat, whatever I like. This is a beautiful unit. It does everything well and it's super cheap to run. To be honest, if I was, the only way that these two are going to come into a category will be hiking or space saving, which is what we need to do a lot, especially when we're t off offshore in the polycraft, finding some islands or, or camping out in the middle of nowhere, then you come down to a space saver and look, to be honest with you, spend the extra money with the jet boil. It's going to be good for you. I do believe just due to the weight saving, the way that it's all in one, it boils no matter in what conditions, it is a fantastic unit. However, if you didn't have that money to spend, are you going to go wrong with this? Definitely not definitely not this is still a fantastic little system keep in mind i've only got a, a small little container to cook in on this unless i put the the pot stand on whereas with this i've straight away i've set it up so i've got a massive pot to cook with so i can cook for two or three people now i love all three of these units as you can see i'm not biased towards any one of them because i think in the right circumstance they're all as strong as the other Hope that helps you out with your selection in your next cooking adventure. Hope it helps you next time you go to the shop, make a more educated decision on what you want to cook with. And until the next time, we'll see you on the next episode. Like and subscribe. Catch you later, guys.